Okay, so I think I lost my earlier little video. It is my one of my stations here. I'm throwing in the vacuum sealed bags with flour in here inside a paper bag and then inside the plastic bag. Over here's one more of my uh, millet, millet bags at five pounds. Uh, I just grabbed one and opened it. And here is my other workstation. You're gonna watch me in a little bit dig into that. I'm, I'm preparing the bags and bagging the paper bags into the plastic bags. And then as a last sure, so as a last sure, I'm going to then use my vacuum bag, uh, my vacuum sealer machine, which, wor which works great. But only if I use, oops, shouldn't have slipped there. Only if I use these bags. These are the accurate size bags, eight by 12, I think. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll put it down at the bottom. Uh, without these bags, I couldn't do it. I was cutting them from the rolls and, and that was not working at all. Uh, it was nothing but a big hassle. And I gave up. My back was hurting from bending over and trying over and over again. Now it seals like a charm. Okay, so now you're going to watch me work my little factory here. This is part A of the job. And then part B is doing the vacuuming. And part C, well, something was hard in here. Oh, something feels hard in here. A whole rock. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, rock. That's quite interesting. I want to save this, see what I could do with it because it's kind of weird. It's a whole rock in here, huh? That to know that it could turn hard, huh? Okay. I have put this outside to freeze. No water got into that, though. So here we go. Factory time. I kind of enjoy doing this. Now that I got the bag, I'm like, ooh, let me get to work. On my Shabbat, I'm working on my Shabbat. But it's about relaxing your mind and doing something you like to do. It's not really about like working with meals in the farm and working for a living, doing something you want to do. I, I actually am pretty excited about doing this. I, I didn't think I would be, to be honest with you. Did not think I would be because I was so frustrated with the vacuum seal machine. It really is a very, very specific to what bag you're going to use. Don't even bother wasting your time. I figured them out now. Uh -huh. I figured them out now. Now I know when to waste time, when not to waste time. Okay, so now I have four bags, right? Okay. So I'm going to kind of like fold it up, like sort of like the way when you buy in the grocery store flour, you know, like inward, right? And then inward here, and inward here, and fold it one time. But you gotta leave room because I want it to be long like a hot dog, right? And I gotta be careful with my nails because these are very, very cheap, cheap bags that I picked up at uh, the uh, Dollar Tree, but it's about well worth it. Um, it's totally not complaining, but you could easily puncture a hole with your nail. And actually, I like this part to be toward the bottom. Okay, so the opening part goes toward the bottom. And let's get this baby go in, inside. See, it's not so hard, right? Every, everything is pretty simple. And I make sure it's flat over there. So now I got one, one bag, ready to go. One down. I am actually excited about doing this all by myself. I enjoy my time listening to some relaxing music. So actually I can fold it here. I don't have to really like pick it up and fold it. Fold it from here, from, from this area here. Because this, but these buckets are very, very, very useful. Okay, so now make it long. Oop, I just punctured a hole. I'm going to fold it over and pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> See, there's a hole right there. When you do that, you can just take another bag and stick it in there. Double bag it. But I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this. All right? So, hold on. Only thing is, when I open it in the future, I may have a problem. All right? I'll just, I'll just use it from the bag itself. See how easy that was? So, I got two bags so far. Okay? 
Let me just put a few of these here. My little factory. My back was hurting so much yesterday from struggling because the vacuum, new vacuum machine, the, the vacuum machine that I was using, and I'm still using actually, I just learned how to use it. I realized it just takes its own bags and I ordered some and I'm not publicizing Amazon, not for those people, the cabal, but I got it in one day. I became a prime member for $1.99 just for the week. Good enough for me to get my stuff going in one day. Because sometimes locally, you don't know where to find this stuff. Okay, so now, here we go. Scooby Doo. Get in there, my love. Get in there. So now this goes in. Ugh. Don't give me a hot time. This one doesn't have a puncher, so I better be careful because I don't want it to have one. All right, so. I could, I don't want to force it because it does have an opening over there. And I want it to land on the fold so that way it doesn't spill. And I, I'd rather the fold to be down there. Why? Because there's less chances of the vacuum sucking up some of the flour, which is the whole purpose of putting a bag inside of a bag. Uh, so that it's safe to vacuum it. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of bending here. I hope I don't that, that doesn't start hurting. Okay, so I want to give it another fold here. Be careful about not puncturing. Yes, I'm in my pajamas, but you can't even see me, could you? You could only see my hands. And that's a good thing. Still got my privacy, right? So. Let it go this way. I want it to be kind of long. Okay, like that. Okay. Now let's stick it in here. I don't even need a table. I practically, practically don't even need a table for this. <clears throat> it's really good. Playing my shofar in the background. Shabbat shalom. Uh oh, so the fold is coming. Is coming apart? Is it? All right. There we go. Okay. So now, we got four of them done. I only got one more, one bag and a half. I thought it was really going to be a horrible, horrible job. A disgusting one, you know, one that I wasn't going to be happy with. Okay, so back at the farm, right? Part two. <laughs> then I dump it in bin, in the other bin, and that's part three, and keep it moving. So very easy. Look, just make sure there are no wrinkles here, because that's what was giving me a hard time last time. And it's really like so simple now. I'm like in paradise now because I had a hard time yesterday. Make sure it clicks here on both ends. No matter what machine it is, they both have to click. Some of them have a lever so you can lock it. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that baby. Look at that baby. You can hear it. Loving it. Loving it. Voila. Voila. It stops all by itself, too. See? You don't see it? That means it's going to stop any minute. And boom. That easy. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. Look at that. Heart like a rock. Heart like a rock. Now... So now, back at the farm, step three, just dump it in this plastic bag. Now I'm going to grab this little millet bag here. This is the last one. Five pounds, because I'm going through this like a real fast. Okay. Oh. All right. So anyway, one more. One more bag, right? Well, actually, I got two more. But this is so much fun. I don't mind doing it. See? Just like that. That's all. No crinkles here. And it always has to be even. That's why you should buy the bags already cut. All right? Know your size bag and don't bother with the rolls because I don't I don't know how anybody does that. It's probably for other kinds of machines. Now, did you hear that click? You heard a click, right? <clears throat> All right, so watch. I'm going to hit vacuum. And there it goes. Watch. Look. Beautiful. 
just what it's supposed to do. Three days of the struggle, figuring it out. I did it for you. Seal is on. Means it's pretty much over. It's going to stop in a second. Or two. Or three. Or four. There we go. Boom. Factory. And here we go. I'm going to turn around now and go to my bin number three. Well, really, two bins only. This is workstation two where I stuffed this in the bag. That's workstation one. So we're going to workstation three. Here we go. And here we go. Dump it. Yay, baby. It's accumulating there and then it's going to go into some buckets. The only thing is that it's not, it's not going to take as much as it would if it were loose, obviously, because of the odd shapes in, in those bags. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll get a bin. Maybe I'll just put them in a bin. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, I appreciate you keeping me company here. Oh boy, I had two more bags. Look at that. I didn't even do these. I'll just put them aside and we'll do it later. Do it later because I have fun doing this here. And since I'm already set to do it again, I wash my hands all the way up to here with lemon water. Sometimes I use vinegar instead of soap. Stay away from that soap if you can. I do use soap a lot more because now I'm going to tell you about other secrets. I don't use toilet paper anymore. I stopped using toilet paper about a year ago. I would say it's about a year ago already. It's hard to tell, but it's about a year. I wish I would have written it down. And uh, I got tired of all the storage. The fact is, I saw a little film about it. It's not as clean, clean. You don't know what's on that t toilet tissue, right? So um, you get a bidet, and it could be a handheld bidet. I have a handheld bidet that hangs from the shower uh, curtain rod, and I wash myself each and every time I go, each and every time. Imagine being clean that clean all the time. Imagine that. Take some liquid soap, get the job done. I invested on a lot of washcloths, which they go a long way if you're going to compare it to toilet paper. And since you're washing with soap and water, rarely do you get brown on that white little uh, hand wash, uh, uh, washcloth. And when you do, you wash it. Very rare because you're washing yourself with soap and water just like you're in the shower. Okay? So take it from me. I'm an expert in that now. Oh boy, this bag has a little bitty bitty hole. I can see it. It's, it is what it is. These are cheap bags, again, from Dollar, Dollar Tree. You get like 12 to a pack. And I'm using it because it's the only way to vacuum, vacuum seal flour. I've already frozen my flour. It doesn't have to remain frozen. You could freeze it and uh, then do what I'm doing. Now, this obviously didn't come straight from the freezer. I mean, I don't know if it ever really got hard. Like, a piece I found earlier. And it got frozen. I don't know. But probably a little bit of water penetrated this bag, and that's probably why it got hard. It's got to be a hole someplace in here. Okay, so... Right, so this is millet what we're doing okay millet millet flour not that i'm familiar with millet flour i'll be honest with you but i know it's healthy so i decided to buy healthy stuff if i'm gonna be hungry you know going hungry because of food in this i'm gonna be eating stuff that maybe i don't find palatable but i'm gonna be eating stuff that's healthier than what i normally get at the store and it's a good opportunity to start getting healthy when you're really really broke poor i don't know if we're gonna go through a starvation period you know but you gotta prepare right you have to prepare and this is what i'm doing here i'm a prepper but i'm realizing that it's great to be a prepper even if you're not expect expecting famine 
because or prices to go up because here I bought in bulk very 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 healthy stuff this is I'm buying sprouted garbanzos in the other video if you saw it sprouted organic garbanzos can you imagine that now, I haven't tried them I'm gonna sample it to see if it softens easy enough because the black beans when I buy them organic from the regular store I don't think it's really organic not even from the Amish so I actually bought organic from the Amish and um no difference I know what non-organic black beans used to be 20 30 years ago they used to soften easy and they used to go bad very easy after you cook it so they don't go bad anymore that's because even Monsanto's even in in the Amish uh, people's uh, crops unfortunately because they want to sell mass and if you want to sell by mass you have to put some of those poisons in it and although they try to regulate and keep it low still it's just as bad as it's not even as good as what, what the non-organic used to be back 20 30 years ago that's how bad things are okay I remember hearing about Monsanto's back then and we're living in those days now okay so see I got my little scoop I'm doing everything in the bin the floor is dirty anyway I, I'm not gonna clean it until after this but this is a nice little workstation okay so now we're gonna start with the bagging right so, I think I could fit more in there frankly I, I prefer smaller bags because it's just me and I can't see myself cooking this every day but then again we're living in hard times you better believe I'm gonna be cooking it a lot more than I had planned okay let me put a little bit more in this bag here okay so see my little setup not bad right pretty proud of it okay. so I'm gonna fold it inwardly the way they do it in the stores that's how you buy the flowers fold it inwardly right oops very cheap very very cheap guys okay so be careful that's why you need that extra extra room okay so now i'm going to lie down because i want it to watch so watch this and once it's in there whatever's going to come out is going to come up from the bottom so it's going to be away from the vacuum oh boy come on girlfriend you can do it see i gotta talk to myself and things okay now it's in. Slide it in. There we go. There we go. Okay. You can squeeze it. Look at thin out. That's a great thing, right? It's flexible. <laughs> All right. See? So now I, I, I put pressure so it could close the seal up the opening. And uh, this is going so much quicker than yesterday that I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Remember back then when they used to have factories in America? That was my first job and I was 15 years old. And it's be fun. Assembling things, right? Okay, so I'm making it go this way, in this direction. And uh, I'm going to hold it this way. And slip it in here. See how easy this is. It's not always as easy, easy peasy, right? Not always as easy peasy as it could be. So I am spilling some of it. I can see, but this is gonna go in easy now. And here we go. Slip it in. Boom, 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 boom. It's gonna land on the opening but it's gonna flatten right there and so when I vacuum it most of the flour is gonna be away from the vacuum that's the only reason why we're using paper bags okay and there we go and then you saw how fast we uh, use the vacuum so if you kind of like set up a workstation where it's going smoothly it actually works better you're far more encouraged to do it oh obviously I'm gonna open it here 
So I'm trying to flatten it this way in this direction. And I hold it with my pointy finger here. And even while it's standing there, I've already got it in the bag. You see? Use a little piece of tech, an idea, a concept, and it works. And then you're happy because you know what? You've done good by yourself. I have done good by myself. First, doing the research, finding out where to order this. And um, now that I know where to order it, you know, I'm going to keep this kind of open so I could just easily slip it. See if that works. So I found out the best price, who has the healthiest product. I was shocked to see and learn about sprouted flour because I've watched a lot of, I did a lot of research about packaging and, and healthy foods. I mean, I've been on the healthy foods and, and herbs and all that for 30 years. Yes, I'm pretty old. Okay, maybe one day you'll see me. But you can see my hands. They don't look old because I know about herbs and I guess that worked for me, right? I'm starting to get some grays on the side. Anyway. Uh-oh, this is spilling some. I don't like that it's spilling some. Okay. Let me make this here like that again. And try not to puncture it because when, once you puncture it, then you're really going to spill, right? And you don't want to spill. The whole idea is that there's nothing in the bag. So, and, and, and even with the spill inside, it, it really doesn't matter. It's, you know, the vacuum keeps going. As long as you got the right size bag, that's what I'm noticing. I'm starting to wonder if I really even need these paper bags. I could probably just put paper over the top of it while it vacuums up, but I don't want to take a chance. That's a little bit too risky. So, oh yeah, some of it is loosening up. I don't know. This one's not working too well, is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on. Don't give me a hard time, please. And a very easy time with the other ones. Very, very easy, easy time with the other ones. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Four. So now the opening again is in the bottom. And I'm not worried about it sitting like that upside down. Because we're getting there. Actually, all right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go seal these. I got about six of them. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, I just wanted to turn this on to let you know I'm starting to put a bay leaf in the packaging to really make sure it's secure for a very long time. I could even put an absorbent in there, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. And so this is what it looks like when it's vacuum packed. See how tight it is? It's like a hot rock. And there's the bay leaf. I, I could put an absorbent in there as well. Um, both or one or the other. Because this deters bugs. Absorbents deter the air. So if this loosens up, I have the absorbent in there as well. Uh, but we'll play with... See, see some, some, of the, some of it came loose and it didn't distract the vacuum sealer at all. I'll be right back. Oops. Okay, so I'm on bag number three. This one is in good shape. The one that's broken is over there. But you can reuse these things. I reuse a lot of stuff. Frankly, I could put a lot of the little ones in those big ones, quite frankly. Okay, so here's another one. Last but not least, um, this is it for the powders. And then I'm going to go back to packaging dry foods. Uh, I think it's oatmeal what I got. Rolled oats. Um... I'm thinking, should I put them in a, in bottles? Uh, should I put them in plastic containers? Or, I mean, I could do the same thing as I'm doing here. They are safe for drying, to, for packaging this way, but they're also safe for packaging in uh, plastic containers that I have saved for such a time as this, right? For repackaging. Uh, they, they last longer when they're not milled. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this little baby. Now I'm going to keep it here because this is where I throw the thing anyway. So I got a little factory thing going here. All is well. Thank you, Jesus. It's all good. Home by myself, like always. I'm used to it. See, if I were 
married person, I'd be miserable being alone sometimes. But sometimes when you're married, you want you want the spouse to leave. I've heard of stories women get being mad at their husbands, causing them to retire. When they retire, they get them to get a part-time job so they could get out of the house. See, I don't have that problem. I don't fight with anybody. I fight with myself. I forgive myself. I actually ask out to forgive me because I do. I put I put signs up like right there. I'm in my kitchen. Just uh, danger. Don't cook if you can't stand by the stove. Five exclamation points and then danger again. Exclamation point. See, so that's how I fight with myself. And I say, God, forgive me. No disrespect meant. I know that you treasure me. I am not dumb. I have to speak to myself positive, po uh, positive reinforcements, right? Affirmations, as they say. I don't have anybody to do it to me. And sometimes I get down because right now I'm struggling. Trying to get a job and uh, trying to work from home. Don't want to work outside anymore, especially with vaccinated people. Sorry, but that's the way that goes. I don't want any shedding on me. I don't want to breathe anything that's going to cause me to become vaccinated, you know, because there are too many things happening out there. So, guys, forgive me uh, if it hurts you. I'm not trying to offend anybody at all. I love people. But this is for me, right? It's for me. So, see how I folded it, just like they do in the grocery store? The way it comes. So, now want to lever it down like that like a hot or so get through here and torpedo it into the bag watch if i do it right i don't have problems getting the thing inside and even if it spills it's not going to go in the vacuum it's wonderful <laughs> look at that and i'm going to put a bay leaf in here for those who miss it the bay leaves uh uh Bacteria, insects, parasites, whatever, they don't like the atmosphere of wherever a bay leaf is. It makes it quite unpleasant, so I don't think they're going to want to burp anything to that matter where my flower is. Okay. So, here we go. See? The more you do it, the swifter you get at it, right? The much easier it is. And I keep it sideways because, I mean, the opening is in the bottom, but when it folds, it folds on the fold. And let me put a bay leaf in that bag. I think one bay leaf is good enough because, it's, quite frankly, it's not a big amount, right? One bay leaf, because then the flower's probably going to taste like bay leaf, right? We don't want that. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the taste of this flower, to be honest. I've never had millet, to be honest with you. So what's filling, I'm going to take it and see... If I could use it as a sample, because I don't think I'm going to like it. I mean, there are a lot of things that I bought that, but you grow it, a taste for it, right? It's your, it's your opportunity to, to, to grow a taste for those things you don't like that are actually really, really good for you. See, see, look at that. Well, I'm holding it. And it makes it so much easier to put it apart. Look at that. Look how easy that is. My, my, my. Boy, I'm almost, I, I'm getting done real fast because once you get, you set up your station, right? Once you, you get the gist of it, you're rolling. You're rolling. I don't need anybody to help me. Sometimes, you know, you live alone and you think, oh, I want somebody to help me. Nobody's helping me. But I should get into carpentry, so I don't have to complain about that, right? Do my own carpentry. There are a lot of women that do it. You know, so you walk, you watch it on YouTube or whatever, and you learn and do it yourself. That's all. Or you learn while you help. So I'm going to have some people helping. I'm approved for a program so that I could get help uh, fixing my house or improving it. Right now. You got to take advantage when you're doing bad. You apply for these programs when you're doing good and. Uh, you spend the money on it or maybe it's already fixed. I'm not trying to fleece the system, but since everybody else is doing it, coming from other countries, taking our tax dollars, 
you know? It's like, who cares anymore, right? It's like, total disaster. I'm living in very bad days. Today's March 11th, by the way, 2023. For those who need to know, or, or would like to reference the times I'm talking about, they're not good, that's for sure. So, I think I only have two bags left here. I'm not too sure I have that much. So, this is a five pound bag that I bought. I bought about five of them. Millet, only because it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> no idea what it tastes like. But you acquire the taste. When you're hungry, acquire the taste of good food that's good for you. That's it. No more uh, hopping out to uh, Wawa's or. Right? Or. I'm done with that. I want to make myself a nice shake. I got a protein drink. I actually buy bananas and I put fruit in it and I make my own little smoothies. I'm done with those junky, junky drinks that they're full of sugar. Back in the 70s and 80s, people used to complain that that soda had seven teaspoons of sugar. Well, these coffee drinks have a lot more. It's like suicidal, pretty much. Okay, so now... I don't know if I put a, a green leaf here, but if I, even if I did, it's not a big deal. Let me, I'm doing everything. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. But since I did it, let me just keep this here to keep it open. Pull this up. Remember, inward. Inward, just like when you go to the grocery store, when you buy your flour, it's fold it inward, right? It doesn't stay in work very long, well, right? <laughs> so you do what you can, right? Only until you can get it stuck in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And this is grainy flour. This is not like. Uh... Okay, so since it's pointy, I got a hold on it. See? Um... Put this in here. Might as well. I'm just running it for myself. I had it so easy. All right. Torpedo it in, and voila. See, I'm not even met counting how many uh, scoops I'm putting in there. I gather it's similar. They're all similar. And one more to go, and then we go to, back to the factory. Back at the farm, at the mill machine. What is that mill machine? I do have a mill machine. One day I'm going to do a video. I got a commercial mill machine. I know that they go for... Uh, one that's not even really commercial goes for like three and change, $350. I got something on eBay that's commercial. It's still small, but it's commercial quality. And um, one day maybe, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to mill the stuff just before you eat it because somehow, I guess, I guess the vitamins or enzymes evaporate if they mill. I don't know. Uh, I know I know it goes bad sooner if they melt, so you should always you're gonna store things. Alright, so we're done here. And I'll be right with you. Thank you for keeping me company. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, little workstation. I'm gonna miss you. I'm going to miss you, workstation number three. I am done with all the flour. I have so many more bags. As you can see, look, all these bags are going to be quite useful. I'm going to start using it in my kitchen on a daily basis when I cook or weekly because sometimes I cook for days in advance. So I'm going to miss you. This is my mill bucket. So I'm going to actually take out from my buckets and put them here so hold on so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wash these out of its millet flour and I'm going to just throw these in this I mean it probably can accommodate about four of them because they're shaped weird and I have about four of these bags so they're properly packaged with their own label too how about that I think I could use these bags unless I find better use for them but this is not a bad idea. I could free up that big bag, which is food grade as well. And those are expensive because they're food grade, uh, very hefty bags. 
So I'm gonna see if I could transfer them into my bags. If it doesn't accommodate all of them, then that's fine. I'll put the bag inside the bag inside the bag, right? Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless.